Polygon, Matic, whatever you want to call it, has been on quite a decent run over the last month. We're up over 40%, which is not bad at all, currently sitting at $1.10 at the time of recording. We've also had very high volume, $823 million in the past 24 hours. Matic was actually one of the top performing tokens during the bull run in 2021. It went from just under $0.02 cents all the way up to $2.91. Even now, after taking a massive hit during the bear market, it's still the 15th biggest crypto by market cap at over $10 billion. So Polygon started life as just one single side chain and a very good side chain of Ethereum with very cheap fees and great performance. But Polygon is something much bigger than that. They've spent over half a billion dollars hiring new talent and acquiring companies. Also, they can develop the best ZK technology in the industry. Polygon 2.0 is basically a massive infrastructure of different chains, which is completely different to anything we've seen in crypto before. And Polygon 2.0 is just one part of their overall ecosystem, which has become so complex over the last few years that it would require its own 30-minute video just to explain everything that Polygon actually does. There is so much stuff that they're doing, I almost feel out of my depth talking about it because I don't even know if I fully understand stand all of it yet. So I'm not going to sit here and waffle on and pretend that I do, but what I do know is the tech they're developing now is going to change the entire industry over the next few years, and not enough people see it coming. Anyway, let's get into our price prediction here. Buying is at your own risk, I am not a financial advisor. My price prediction is purely speculation and does not equate to any sort of financial advice. Also want to quickly shout out to Bing X Exchange, my favourite place to trade, super low fees, no KYC required, and you can now get 20% off all your trading fees if you sign up using my link in the pinned comment. All right, here we are on the Matic chart. I'm going to keep this as simple as possible. You can see over the last few days, we have been floating around this $1.8, $1.10 mark. We have at least on the short term flipped this $1.8 resistance to support. You can see $1.8 is a strong historical level here, acted as resistance, rejected there. Back over here, acted as support on multiple occasions, before ultimately being the confirmation level for this huge breakdown. You can see on the 4 hour chart we are in this rising wedge pattern, which is generally a bearish formation. It breaks to the downside approximately 70% of the time. However, like I said earlier, we are above support here at $1.8, which would increase the probability that we actually break upwards out of that pattern. And if that were to happen, our next significant level is up here at 117.6. You can see that level has similarly acted as resistance in the past here, here, support here, support here, support here. You get the point, that would be a roughly 8% move up to there. Now, if we were to break this pattern to the downside, we'd be looking at coming back down to around the $1 level here. And if we fail to hold that, then potentially all the way down to this bearish target at 90 cents here. Anyway, if we were to continue past this 117.618 level here, then our next bullish target would be up here around the 133 level, which you can see is another fairly significant historical support and resistance level. That would be a move up around 20% from our current position. If we are able to break that level, then our next target would be at 150. You can see not only do we have significant historical support and resistance levels at 150, that is also a significant psychological milestone. That would be over a 36% gain from here. Those are our short to medium term targets. If you have enjoyed the video, a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated. I've been me, you've been you. Thanks for watching and see you later.